Okay, this tutorial is all about the bevel effect in Corel Draw X3. This is a new effect in Corel X3. Uh, long time ago, if you want to do a bevel effect, you have to go to uh, a different uh, software like a photo, uh, photo, you know, like Photoshop or Corel Photo Paint. But here you can do it here in straight from Corel Draw. So first, I type in the bevel, word bevel, and let's make it blue. Okay. Now I'm going to put the bevel effect by going click on the object or the text and go to effects and click on bevel. So when you click on bevel, uh, a dialog box will show up or the option box. Uh, so you can do your stuff here. So for example here, let's try the soft edge first. And then bevel distance is 0.24, intensity, directional. You got altitude. I'll just click on apply and see see if we can uh, adjust things later. Okay, so this is okay. That's the soft edge. Then let's try to make it emboss and click on apply to see the difference. Really can't see the difference because the distance is small. I increase the distance size and click OK. Okay, so. There you can see the the emboss effect. Now let's go back to soft edge. I think I like the soft edge better. Okay. Now let's adjust the intensity of this one. The altitude. Let's make it less. Okay. And the direction. The intensity. I think that's the intensity of the light. Okay, then the uh, the light color. Let's try to make it a different color. Say yellow. Click on apply. Okay, so let's just leave it to white. And then the shadow color. You can also do that. And then the distance. Okay, I'll I'll try to make it. I'll exaggerate it one inch. It doesn't want me to do it. So I think it has to be less than an inch click apply so it has to be less than that so I'll make it 0 0.09 there you see the difference now that's 0 0.09 but anyway if you want to adjust the uh, bevel effect here and just go to this dialog box here for the options and do that now you're not only uh, limited to to text you can also make uh, you know like objects say for example we're doing an object here and I'll uh, click on effect wait I have to color it first say green shift page down is to make it go to back let's just make it purple here okay let's enlarge it here and I'll remove the outline okay let's do a bevel on this one so I'll make it the same one soft edge and click on apply there You see the difference now? It's bevel. And you can also you can still change the color even though it's already beveled, which is really neat. Let's do it that way. There. And then if you want to put a drop shadow, you click on the bevel effect and you click on uh, arrange, break bevel apart. You have to click on that one in order to make a drop shadow because if not it won't do it so I click on that and go to the drop shadow and uh, make a drop shadow I'll just make this to a lighter blue there you go it's beveled 